think we met for the first time, right? And so, uh, Nina decided to take a, take us out. What I was expecting was a fancy bar. And, uh, I was not given any, any note on where are we going. And thus, I was like, oh, yay, okay. And, uh, all they say is to, like, bring a card, uh, an ID, a proof of identification. So I was like, okay, it must be really fancy if we go somewhere that asks for an ID. Okay? And we went inside a stripper club. <laughs> for our second year anniversary celebration, Etheria went to a stripper club. <laughs> no one told me what was happening. Babu and Raymond knows about this. I was just joking about it too, like in the beginning, because I was like joking. Like, I want to see some titties. That's what I said. <laughs> Let's go to the strip club. And I didn't really expect that we're actually going on a strip club. And you know me, I'm like all bark, no bite. So when I saw like the naked woman poster in the strip club, I'm like, oh, um, I, I don't think we should go here. Um, uh, what's happening? I was so confused. I was like slightly panicking. I was like, wait, 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 wait. Are we actually going to a strip club? Uh, um, uh, uh. I am not ready to see some tits! And so we did go and um, experience a strip club. It was something. I've never seen so many titties in my whole life. And they are good titties. Oh, oh, someone also stripped with their, like, like, um, um, with their uh, underwear on. And I get to see their uh, uh, coochie. Like, two coochies. And I was comparing it to from my coochie. <laughs> and I'm like, oh wait, that's a different looking coochie. Interesting. So kind of like that. Because you kind of like spread their legs and stuff. Whenever. And then while well, they're saying hi to you, there's also like uh, some dancers who are like, trying to um, join their tits and stuff. <laughs> my vacation's so well. I know. <laughs> then um, there's this one female. There's this one female. She's really good. And she's like touching my face. And touching my back sensually. And I was like, I never felt so touched before. She's like, just like, uh, the first thing she said to me, and the first thing she whispered was like, Do you want to go to the private rooms to get my taste, the taste of me or something? And I'm like, um, no, no. <laughs> she was crazy. She was touching my back. She's like, you know, she's just touching my back and like, Kind of like, um, twirling my hair and she's, she kind of like put my hair on my ear so she could whisper, uh, something like, you know, I never, I never felt very, <laughs> I never felt so, like, never reacted before in my life. She gave me an ASMR, yeah, yeah, pretty much ASMR. She was playing with my hair, she was caressing my back and like, massaging my arms and stuff and she was crazy, it was crazy. And so mom was like, yeah, let's go. I save money for this. I'm gonna get you, each and every one of you, some lap dance to experience it. Okay, so there's two different types of um, lap, dan lap dances. The one is like contactless and no contactless. So I think mom paid for like uh, no contact, you know. And so we did experience the, the, the our, our girl, the one who's handling Raymond and I. And so... Our girl actually went for like a contactless. <laughs> well, no, she went on a contact dance. So she's like, she's like, um, pull pull your chair a little bit farther from the table and spread your legs. And I'm like, oh, oh, oh okay. <laughs> so and then she started dancing and then she sat on my leg and she's like doing like a little bit of a humping and then she would put her face close to mine like she's she kind of like want to kiss me but she she asked when we're uh, when her lips are about to touch she goes away so she's kind of like teasing you you know and she was like feel free to touch me wherever like, even on my tits and i was like no no ma'am no um I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna support your waist so um you won't fall <laughs> I was so red. I was super duper red when she was dancing. And you know, Nina was just laughing. And then I was lo I looked at Nina and I was like, Oh, this is too much. And then she grabbed my chin and she was like, Just look at me. And I was like, oh. And I can't stop complimenting her because she's so beautiful. The dancer was so beautiful. And I told her like, 
you know, I'm not really confident about my body and stuff. So seeing like, like a like a woman who's very confident about themselves makes me empowered as well. So I'm just like being wholesome, you know, because it really is a little bit empowering when you're really proud about your body and you're just, you know, show like, just doing this job. Like there's no, it's not a bad thing, you know. <laughs> So just like complimenting her, you're like, you're so beautiful. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like simping for her. <laughs> but she's like super adorable too. So she's like really, really confident about herself. And you know, like something like that, when you see a woman like that, like being confident on what she does, kind of like makes you a little bit confident, like a little bit of boost of energy. Like, oh yeah, if she could do this, I could do this too. Thus, I have decided that after my VTubing career, I will become a stripper. <laughs> Uh.